Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make ambient music using Linux. First, you need to install LMMS or Linux Multimedia Studio on your Linux machine. I have installed it. Then, I don't need the bit baseline editor I just need the sound editor, sync editor. I just make it full screen. And now I really like to use SF2 player or sound font player which help me play instruments I like. Okay? Now I want to play some strings. This fluid fluid R3GM is a generic MIDI sound font which is also installed with Tux guitar. Okay? The slow strings have good sound for ambient music or drone music. I decrease the tempo to 100 beats per minute and I save my project because LMMS and Ubuntu have some problems. Okay, I write ambient tutorial because I disconnected sound from speakers during the record. I will play the song for you at the end of the video. Okay, no, I can record the sound. Wait, this is the note D in the third octave. Beautiful. And this is the D minor chord. I just want to play D minor chord for a time and then I show you how I can make a good drone voice out of a D minor chord. Okay, let's start recording. That's enough. I just make it from start of the sound and then let me increase the duration till the end of the song. This is the only voice I used. I want to use other voices too. Okay. Let me name this part strings. No. Add another SF2 player. What's your opinion about cello? This is the note D from a cello. This is on the third octave. I will put it on the second octave uh, when I recorded the notes. I have only I have three D's here and that's not good. I 
actually that's not good to have three separated notes I want a sustained D note again Okay, now I have a sustained D note and I just put it on the second octave. It would be some kind of bass line for me. Let's hear the final production. Of course, it is not my final production, but let's hear how it sounds. sounds much better no I want to add a viola sound to my ambient music from the note F you know D minor chord is D F A from note F on the fourth octave why I Okay, sorry. No, let's hear. That's nice. Let's record. I don't know what what the fight was that note okay it was some random note I pressed I put the note here and I increase its length now let's listen to the masterpiece I played ambitious of course Okay, let's name this part viola and I need a high D note. A high D note is needed here. So I use the violin. And this is This is D in fifth octave. Sounds pretty good. Sorry, it was my mistake to make the note sustained. Again, I start recording.
No, I put it in the right place. Then I increase the length of the note. And now let's listen to what I played for 20 seconds. But it would be longer in the post production, of course. Now this is the 20 second drone sound. I can increase the length of song. Let's listen to the new song with 80 beats per minute tempo. It's 24 seconds and I think that's good. So I export it as the ambient tutorial.wave in my music folder. Okay, it's saved so fast. I close my LMMS and now we need another software to do some sound engineering on the music we played. I use Audacity, which is a free software. And now, ambient tutorial.wave. Okay. Now, I have my 24 seconds here. First, I add some reverb to that. My reverb settings are good I think so let's listen to the song with reverb I think it needs to be one octave lower, so I go to change pitch. The pitch shifter from Audacity detects my song is in key of F. Yes, because the F notes are too loud in this song. Anyway, when I want to make it one octave higher, it's minus 50% of pitch shifting. I do this, but I don't think the result will be good. Let's do a preview on that. No, that's not good, so I cancel that. And in change speed, I have minus 5% change, and I think that's good. Let's preview that. Sounds like some kind of experimental movie sounds. Okay. And again, I change the speed. Let's listen to the result now. Now, 
I pick the first five seconds like this and I apply fade in effect on that and the last seconds and I apply fade out for two times okay no our song is actually ready but let's listen to that and it's not a good ambient sound because it's less than 10 minutes just joking but good ambient songs are actually lying let's listen to this one first and then I show you how to make a good ambient song out of the drones you record using your instrument Okay, no, that's good. In FX Menu, there is an effect called pole stretch. It's an extreme stretching plugin which is made by some guy called Paul. I open that. I just make it two times longer because I don't want the sound to be very long and also the time resolution of 0 0.8 seconds is one of the best resolutions because it keeps the original sounds of the track let me show you a preview and then I press OK because I like the way it changed my song Okay, no, I have a one minute ambient song. Let's listen to that. Of course, I mix it to the video at the end of video, okay? No, this song just sounds good and I love it. So I export it to mp3 file and that's good because I want to share it somewhere else. And okay. Thanks for watching this video.